Hi everyone! Today we are continuing to work on multi-layer file and finishing color reduction. In our lesson number 15, we separate color for flat color layers. And now we need to separate colors for watercolor main layer and combine colors from all layers in one file. So let's open our watercolor layer. As we remember, repeat is already done. We know how to index colors from our lesson number 4, how to do color reduction in Photoshop, part 2, watercolor. Do we need some additional tricks for this kind of print? I think yes. Very important. This print is imitation of real watercolor art. And the main idea to keep its look. Let's go to image mode index color. We remember we cannot exceed 12 colors, but for the first step we can type a bit more. Let's put 18. Palette local selected. Let's pay attention on this though. When we work on flat colors, we can keep it none, but because we are working on watercolor print, we have to change its option to achieve realistic integration between colors. We can put noise. In this case, integration appears as stippling. Or pattern. Integration looks like little crisscross pattern. But I always use diffusion, because with this method, we can change the amount of integrated pixels. Look, we've checked preview box and are changing our diffusion level. By changing numbers, we can achieve desirable level. Just remember, the higher level we choose, the more realistic your print looks, but the more difficult it becomes for execution. For easy execution, you can assign lower level, but it affects your quality. So, as usual, use your creativity and evaluate your factory facility and find the compromise. So let's choose 50%. Click OK. Do you like it? Not bad. But what do you think about these lines? We have it because the fabric we had scanned has an original texture. We can keep this texture as well, here, here. But if our client or our creative director doesn't like it, can we eliminate it? Sure. Go back, go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. As we see, our texture has a vertical direction. Change angle to direction perpendicular texture direction. In our case, it's horizontal, which means zero degree. Click Preview. Distance 12 is too much, the distortion is too noticeable. Let's put 5. Now repeat the previous manipulation. Image mode index the color, 18 colors, diffusion 50. Click OK. Now texture is less noticeable. If you still don't like it, you can go back and increase motion distance in blur effect, but I think it's good enough. Go to mode color table. As we know already from our lesson number 4, we click on colors one by one and try to evaluate how important each of them is. Let's start from these three light colors they are creating background texture. Definitely we don't need three of them. Click on each color and replace it with random bright color. Don't forget to check preview. I think we can keep this one to enhance leaf texture and combine these two. Select this one, zoom in and pick next colors. Click OK. If we go back to RGB and then again to index the color mode, we can see already 17 colors and two colored background. So we are sure we've killed one color correctly. However, you don't have to do this operation every time after combining each two colors. Now, Let's start to click on each color and change it temporarily just to see how important each color is. Let's start from green colors. First green from the right, it's large area. Let's keep it. Next one, very light green. Kind of tiny area, but it's important. It's a transition area. I suggest to use following method. Choose the bright color, click OK. 
Again, OK. Zoom in. Select. Fill it with its neighbor, ivory. Then pick next neighbor, light blue. Edit. Fill foreground. Choose dissolve 50%. Click OK. I think it represents good transition between light blue and ivory. Just notice, using dissolve option works better for narrow transition area. For the white transition area, it will look too steepling. Next green, large area, keep it. Next dark green, keep it also. Next light green, small area, not important at all. Let's replace it. Let's try to pick any of other greens, maybe this one. OK. The light green, one more dark green, bright green, mm, keep it for now. Click OK. Go back to RGB, back to index it, 15 colors. OK. Let's start to kill some of blue colors. Start from this one. This is kind of dirty color, we don't like it, let's replace. Preview option allows you to see the result instantly. So we can pick correct replacement. This one. Other colors are difficult to replace instantly. Going back to RGB and back to index it, 14. We have two unwanted colors. I think we can get rid of this one. It's a lightest green color. Maybe we can replace it with the lightest blue. Let's try. Not bad on some areas, but kind of harsh on other areas. In this case, I use another method. Going back to lightest green, back to RGB. Select light green and light blue. Pick one of them as a background, another for foreground. Fill both with background. Then fill normal 50% with foreground. Go back to index. 13 colors. We are almost there. Technically, we can eliminate any of blue or green colors. Let's see, we have 5 blues and 6 greens. It's more fair to kill one green. What about this medium green? Let's replace it with pink. OK. OK. We can replace with any dark green. But let's try to replace with different colors in different areas, just for achieving more interesting effect. Select pink, click Ctrl H to make our selection invisible. Select bright green, select brush, dissolve, soft brush 100%. Start to brush pink area. Don't forget it's selected, we just don't see it. Use your imagination and paint where you think bright green will look better. Now, select magic wand. Without hold, click on bright green. We have remaining pink area. To make selection invisible again, click Ctrl H. I think we may need some medium blue. Select and continue to brush, maybe here, here. Again, select without hold, Ctrl H. Mm, uh, what about lightest green? Here, a little bit. Now, I think all remaining pink area we can replace with this medium green. In this case, because it's a last color, we can just pick it and click with basket. Opacity 100, contiguous unchecked. If we go back to RGB and again to index it, we can see our 12 colors. Print is almost ready. Why almost? As we know, our main goal is creativity. We can enhance our print using our art skills. Stay on index color mode. Choose any soft brush, something like this. Be sure you select Dissolved and Airbrush. Now, 
If you double click on brush panel icon, you can play with brushes options, for example, shape dynamic and scattering. Again, you have to find compromise between time and quality. You will see when print will look pretty enough. But don't forget we are trying to combine multi layers in one print. Last time we created few different layers as separate files. Let's open our texture flowers. Select all, copy and paste. Adjust placement. Let's check our calculation. As we remember, our floral print has transparent background and four colors. Our main print has 12 colors. Go to indexed colors, click none. We have 16 colors, 12 from print and four from flowers, total 16. But we still cannot exceed 12. Click OK, zoom in and start replace floral colors with print colors. Look, these two yellow from pistol. Let's replace with these greens from the print. These two blue from adults replace with these two blues. Again RGB and back to index. We finally ended up with 12 colors and moreover, flowers blended up with print perfectly. Let's try one more thing. Open another layer which we've saved as a separate file. Compare these two files. What happens if we try to combine them? Possibly, dark outline will become one of the darkest colors. Yellow, probably this yellow. This green, we can decide before combining. I want it to become this bright green. We can recolor now, pick from main file and fill flower file, contiguous unchecked until last off. Then select all, copy, go to main file and paste. Because main file stays in index color mode, three colors of flowers are transferring in closest colors by themselves. We can move flowers over for the best location. But remember, we still are in index mode. So new placement doesn't create new layer. So we can move the object only when it's select. As soon as we deselect, flowers are stuck to the main print. Using this method, we can continue to add other layers to the file. And remember, we didn't go back to RGB, so we don't have to be worried, we still have our 12 colors, no matter how many new objects we will add. Just be sure the colors of the new objects are close enough to the main file colors. By the way, what happens if we are adding some object with totally different colors? Well, it's transferring to green tones. Maybe it's not bad, but we never can predict. When we are happy with file appearance, we can add some adjustment using paint brush. Select brush. Remember, we still are in index mode. Select airbrush, mode, dissolve. Changing the opacity and size, you can add some correction to imperfect areas. I think it's good enough. Now let's create a half drop. We know already how to do this. Image size 24 inches, width is 8 inches. Drop step is 24 multiply 300 divide by 2. 3600. Go to RGB, select bigger area, twice bigger than width, 16 inches. Duplicate layer. Move over to the very edge.
our favorite option select all image crop go to filter other offset our offset number is 3600 flatten image now we can go to select all edit define pattern select new bigger file go to edit fill fill with pattern see we have our file ready to be sent to the factory So now we know how to create complicated watercolor multi-layer print and combine colors from different layers. Next time we will talk about Photoshop actions and learn how to use this feature for textile design. Please subscribe for my channel, like it if you still didn't and please don't forget to check your bell. See you soon.